Bottles. I am Jensen and welcome back to Deltarune Chapter 2. This game absolutely slaps. I accidentally ended the uh, last chapter a little bit earlier, skipped some dialogue, so we're back here and we have to kind of like get to the point where What's-His-Face comes in. Whew. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, 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 Noel, my lady, the cavalry has arrived to rescue you. Oh, the good part of the dream is over. It's fine. Beardley's gonna help. We're allies. Yes! Don't worry, Noel. I'm stupid now! He's good. Look, I gotta go save the day now, alright? Uh, huh? Um, good luck, Susie. Alright, Nugget Boy. It's up to you now. Leave it to me, my dear Susan! Yeah, whatever. May the smarts be with you. That's what we missed. She left before I could! Noel! It's hard to say this! Oops! Noel, I'm sorry! Beard! Oh, my god, I'm screwing up all the voices now, wow. Beardly, you're actually apologizing? Thank you, I understand, you know. You've always been nice to me when it's just the two of us. You just wanted to make a happy world for me. I'm glad you realized, um, it sucked. Oh! Huh? I mean, yes! I was, in a way, apologizing for that, but I also wanted to apologize for leading you on. Yep, that's the face everyone's feeling, I think. I know you only helped me out because, well, you had a crush on me, so... What? Oh, sorry, please, don't be embarrassed. It's understandable, but I, I have to tell you why. I really value your friendship, okay? So I, I, I felt I had to pretend to reciprocate those feelings. What? But I don't, I never. Furthermore, I think I may have discovered someone else for me. Huh? Please don't be jealous. Of? Susie. What? 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 That makes sense, actually. Okay, so they're both fighting for Susie now. Creepy. Uh, so that's why... Geronimo! <laughs> hi! Hi, Henry! Welcome to the, uh... Welcome to the stream, unless that's Henry Afton, in which case you should be dead. Eh, <laughs> miss me? Of course not! You're just kidding! That was sarcasm, I missed you! Man, we gotta work on your delivery. Anyway, let's go! Right. Everyone is together, but the wind blows coldly. You are filled with a certain power. I like Deltarune. Welcome, welcome to the club, my dude. I beat Spamton. First go. In this, here yeah, playthrough, uh, I'm still riding off of the endorphins of having done so. I think we're really close to beating this chapter. It's going to be a bittersweet moment, because on one hand, I love this game so much, and I, I just cannot wait to play the next one. And on the other hand, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, we're going to fight this where we're wire, whatever the hell this thing, cone face, boom, double crit, nice. We didn't get the crit on Ralsei, unfortunately. Uh, who is, oh wow, that is, what the hell? A little bit of a damage dealer. Ooh, tough. Where wire pretends to ignore you. No, it didn't, it just attacked us. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, we missed the crit on uh, Ralsei again, unfortunately. All right, let's avoid, oh piss, we've already taken a couple of them. These are tricky. We need to, like, massively gap it to the other side. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got the crit on Chris, but that was about it, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Boom, boom. Oh, we took one. This is a tricky one to learn. Okay, I've never seen this one before, but we've got maximum toilet paper so we can get Susie's Rude Buster out. Probably to finish him off for good. Probably get Ralsei's magic. Now nah, let's get, just get Ralsei to attack. Boom. Oh. Did that do it? Nope. Did that do it? Almost very close. He's pucking snowballs at me for some reason. All right. Oh, damn it. We took another one. Ralsei's taken massive hits. Ooh, okay. He's got 2% health. That's really funny. Boom. Nice. Okay, we killed him. Uh, we're doing a genocide run. We are killing everybody in this here playthrough. And I have another save lined up for pacifism. So that'll come out after whatever we're doing here. What is this area? By the way, what are we even doing here? What's all the way this way? Is this the end? Ah, oh, piss on that. 
<laughs> I am not going that way. We are going to check out this room right here really quickly. Oh, this was the Princess Tower room. Okay. So we could have actually rescued the princess ourselves. It's a wardrobe. That's nice. It's a bed. Go to sleep. <laughs> Seriously? It's not your bed anyhow. Okay. Okay. It's a Freddy Fazbear's uh, face right here. From the searches, Ice E Real cryptid. It's a cross between Ice E and something else. <laughs> hey, Gris, take this for your room. Um, that would be stealing. You stole the Ice E statue for some reason. Okay. Thanks. There are catalogs of search results. Seems like most things couldn't be made into objects. Makes sense. There are all sorts of clothes inside. <laughs> ah, never seen Noelle wear anything like this. It's because it's not her room. Whoa, this statue rocks! Hey, Ralsei, can we take this from my room? Huh? Um, that would be stealing. You stole the Susie-like statue. Great! We've stolen things! What's up here? Ah, shortcut. Okay, that is fantastic, actually. So we should be really, really close to the entrance, right? We should be really close to the entrance where the uh, main player hub is. No, we are not. No, we are not. Okay, let's go back up here. Maybe we'll find a save. Maybe we won't. But what we do know for certain is that we have to go right. So we got to figure out which way is the bad way. Down. Let's go down. Whoop. And up. I'm going up. And down. Up. Oh, piss. <laughs> we still took a hit regardless. I'm going down. I'm going to go down. Oh, I actually, I see the little dits on the map where they are going to hit. Okay, we've just solved that puzzle. Good. What is in here! This is probably the queen, right? There she is! Queen! Stop right there, criminal scum! Ah, oh, my sweet idiot children. You are just in time to witness my world domination. With Noelle in my possession, it is only a matter of time before her will turns, and she unleashes her power. Blanketing the world in. Too late, dumbass! Noelle's with Beardly! Oh. And who is this? This... Beardly. Beardly? But he's been intercepted. My control plugs are now suitable for teenagers. The whole family can enjoy eternal servitude. Sort of regal, mostly cruel laughter. Wait, then where's Noelle? Laughter becomes more cruel. Oh, I wonder. I actually know the answer. Okay, she knows the answer. Enough already! Oh dear. I do sincerely quite like you two. You too! She said I like you too! Ralsei doesn't exist! Ralsei doesn't exist! I have to say, this is just a violence route. The real genocide route is secret, and you should do it after you complete the chapter, because this changes a lot of things. I will! I'll be going for like 100% completion, as best as I can, because there's only three slaves. Save slots, not slave slots. I suppose, in, in a sense, the computer is my slave, but still, like, save slots. She just confirmed, by the way, she just confirmed Ralsei is an imaginary friend. Doesn't exist. An enjoyable shame. Okay, we're gonna fight the queen. Queen blocks the way. Okay, let's do this. Boom, boom, this place becomes your tomb. Queen, think of the lighteners. Aren't we supposed to make them happy? Is that not what I'm doing? She's a penis. She is actually a, oh, it's gonna fill up, right? Oh, it's milk. I hope. I hope that's milk. <laughs> How the hell would I know? Oh, she's got a full mug of milk now. The queen's acid shield is formed. That wasn't acid, that was clearly milk. Okay, so we can't attack the Queen. We can't attack Beardly. Maybe we attack the wall, right? I think we may have to attack the wall. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so we do do damage to the wall, and it does reduce it. Think, Lightness have already been enslaved by me and my kin. Uh, oh, that was a tricky one. I wish I knew what that one was. Okay. Uh, we gotta kinda like slip down beneath it, right? It smells like overclocked high heels. I think maybe we should defend, possibly. I think we should defend for a while. We don't have much health, actually, no. Let's just use a, um... What's gonna heal the whole party? Like, 30 would do it. 30 would do the, the trick. There is a glow shard here, I don't know what it does. Uh, raises toilet paper, Lancer cookie heals 50 HP. I am gonna eat it. Re Susie's gonna eat it. Everyone's gonna eat. Okay, we're gonna take a uh, healing donut as well, and also a... Not the light candy, good grief, that is a waste. Uh, maybe the club sa- Oh! We can just use the club sandwich, right? That's a really effective use of the club sandwich. Let's do that. Where is it? There it is, club sandwich. 
Uh, Susie can do an attack because she's good at it, and Relsi is also a damage dealer now. Good! So everyone's got lots of health. That was a pretty big hit. Each day they spend hours worshipping in glowing rapture. Our screams of funny animals and candied games. Uh, oh, piss! Oh my god, this is tricky! Okay, I'm just gonna go side to side and try and slip her heels. So she can't have any more than like two feet on the board at once, right? Okay, uh, she's undefended. We could... Fight, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight her. She is defenseless. Susie is gonna use a rude buster because it hits hard. And Relsi can use a base attack. Boom! 292, that's pretty good actually. Boom! Double crit too! Wowee! Starring, taping to receive joy. Starring, tapping to avoid pain. What does that even mean, lady? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm slipping. Good, we got it. All right, Queen's Acid Shield is formed. I'm gonna defend. Susie can defend. And then I think Relsi should use her toilet paper, right? Her toilet paper to kind of like do a prayer on Susie? Cause we're not using toilet paper regardless. Until recently when the town's internet disappeared. Now the refuge they take in the screens will slowly fade. That's dark, that's dark lady. Okay, this is a strangely slow one. Let's stick to the middle and not be hit. There we go, good. We didn't get hit at all. You can sell the glow shards, each chapter the price only goes up, so they're giving you more money, so I would save the glow shards for future chapters. That is a good shout, Hypercake. I will definitely be saving them up. Okay, let's continue to defend and defend, and Relsi can again use her heal prayer. No, toast. That should probably get rid of her cup, right? Relsi made a toast to the queen. A toast to you, or making me wear a butler outfit. Bro, that's weird, but okay. <laughs> the queen sips from her acid. Oh, that was clumsy. Noel, then who will help her? Her strange and sad searches. Who will answer that? Oh, her dad's in the hospital, that's why. So we are rescuing her from the uh, literal, like, pain of her dad being hospitalized. Oh, that is tra that is actually very sad. Uh, the fountain flows ominously. We've got a lot of toilet paper. Let's, mm. let's defend. Let's defend, and Relsi can again use the toast. While the acid is up. The queen sips from her acid. What an idiot. This is what I wanted until the night appeared and created this wonderful world of darkness. That's us, by the way. I think that's us. We created whatever created this world. It's imagination. Oh, they're telling... Oh my god! What the hell is this? How am I slipping? Oh... That was dark! The skyline echoes with regal laughter. Okay, let's... Mm. Can, we, can we act on the queen? Maybe a group toast or a dual heal? I'm gonna dual heal. That's probably the best option, right? And Susie can do what she does best. Boom! Great! Everyone healed, that's fantastic. Got the crit on Relsi, on uh, Susie, not Relsi. Very good. Now the path is clear. All I have to do is expand this dark world. Good luck doing that without my imagination, big bastard. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, not awful. We took a hit, obviously, but not an awful phase. The battlefield feels electric. She's got a huge wall in front of her. I think we just need to bust it down, right, with uh, with force at this point. Brood Buster. Yeah, let's use that. And Relsi can attack. Oh! I don't know if that was good. We did damage. The Brood Buster didn't do damage. Then with the world covered in darkness, no one will have to suffer anymore. Okay, so, hear me out. Wow, okay. Oh! Hear me out. I feel like... I feel like the attacks don't actually do anything against the walls. So we're probably not going to do damage against the walls anymore. Uh, we'll attack, attack, attack. Boom. I think we do base attacks against the wall. That seems to do damage, but the Root Buster didn't do any damage. Every day blissfully worshipping me like we both deserve. All right, this one's okay, this one's okay, this one's okay. If we hug to a corner, like this one right here, it's really easy to slip. It's really easy to slip it, good. Okay, attack, uh, suit, ah, oh, piss the shield's back, so we'll just do an attack. The queen also only has nine HP, by the way, which is awesome. It's, okay, the uh, wall is gone. Now, stop resisting and welcome the new age of darkness. All right, Sauron. Oh, piss, she's throwing. No, not drama. No! Why would someone Google that? These are all Google searches, by the way. Like, top 20 Google searches on Google. Uh, let's attack and attack and attack. Boom, boom. This place becomes your tomb. All right, we got her warm down. And 
enough, you foolish children. You may have survived my attacks regular, but I've been secretly downloading my ultimate move the whole time. Now perish in the bosom of my hellish reign. Okay. Oh no, it's buffering. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, piss. Oh no, we can't actually see. That's okay. My memory, because I'm medicated for it, is actually very good so we didn't take a single hit. Wow. All right. Now that she has no, no wall, we'll attack her. Susie will use a Rude Buster against her. And, of course, Ralsei can attack her too. A boom! Toothpaste right to the face. Almost a double crit. We got the queen. We got the queen. Long live the queen! Not bad, you foolish children. But even if you deplete the health points of my chair, I can simply make another barrier using my drink. Bottoms up! That's okay, I'll do a second phase. Wait a second. Hey, chat, does that... <laughs> <laughs> hey chat, does anyone know what happened to that stuff? Does anyone know? <laughs> oh dear, it seems uh, someone sipped up all of my shield power. In other words, nothing's stopping us from beating you up now, huh? Yeah, I know, okay, good. Well, not nothing. Well, there's not something. Mr. Birdie here still has maximum HP, so unless you want your dear friend to get hurt, I recommend letting him hurt you instead. I don't really care. We're doing a genocide run. He's toast. Uh, uh, you won't control me! What? What are you doing? Uh, 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 Taking off this plug! Stop! Stop that at once, your arm will- Stop! Mega Bird is tired. Birdly, what the hell, man? Your arm is. That was stupid! Yes, it was, wasn't it? It's not praise. Press, Susie, I can't do much with a fried wing! Please, promise, you'll save Noel! You'll save Christmas! We. we promise! Birdly, hey! Birdly! Are you okay? Everything getting dark. Only, only a kiss from a beautiful caper girl can save me now. What a play. What an actual big balls play, huh? Birdly. What? Like, get your, like, losing consciousness and stuff, but did you speak up? Um, oh, sorry, suddenly I... I'm- I'm feeling much better! Hey, that's a relief. Well, uh, gotta hurry and save Noelle, so... later. Ah, uh, uh, oh, dear Susan, so enigmatic in her ways! But I can read her out, Chris, like a health meter! And it's beeping! For love! Ah, well enough tales, Chris! Good luck! May the smarts not be with you! Okay. Chris, your deep concern for me is dexterous, but stay sanguine, my fellow bluebird. I'll find some way to help you yet. I don't give two hoots. Um, the save portion right here is right in front of the king's mouth. Is it not? Isn't this not the king's mouth? So what has the queen done to the king? No, the king was in prison. And Lancer is stone. <laughs> nice. 420. Okay, we've got- we've finally got the queen here on her chair. The knight? The roaring knight? Today it- it deigned to create this world. Reaching its long hand into the sky, it cursed its will into this blade, and made... thrusting the fountain from the earth. Unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realized, this power, this power of the will, this power of determination, is this not something that all lightners possess? If one was simply determined enough. There's no Ralsei on that screen. Could not anyone make a dark fountain? So then, if the knight has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. Noel, honey, darling, sweet and gravy. How do you find the giant hand? 
Great, and how do you feel about world domination? Oh, ouchy mama! <laughs> Susie, you came to save me! Somehow, I... I... I knew you would! Uh, you did? Um, I mean I... Um, well... Wait! Wait, wait, wait! You need to get out of here! Hurry! Huh? I will kill anything that crosses my path. Is that a queen mech? Wow. But queen? Seems to me that you failed to notice the giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace. Oh, okay. I did notice it, actually. This isn't good. She's invincible like this. Huh? She, she's been bragging about her final form all day. <clears throat> you think growing a few inches is going to help? Yes. Time for the real boss fight? I'm happy. I'm happy for the real boss fight. Are we called to take over the world now? Z Susie, let's just give up and... Hell if we're giving up now! Z Susie? So what if you got another form? We've got one too! Chris, Relsi, come on! <laughs> what are you doing? This is our ultimate. Uh, wait a sec now that you mention it. Oh no, it appears I am evenly matched. I hope you won't mind if I don't hold back. I don't mind. I don't mind whatsoever. Okay, I feel like the queen is an allegory for something that Noelle is dealing with. It's maybe a mental illness of some sort. We're falling. Any bright ideas on how we're getting out of this one? Um, we could try flapping our arms. Fair not. Your knight in the glow, Dark Armor, is here. Birdly, oh no. Chris! Susie! I can't do much for you like this! So I found help for you! The old comrades! On your quest against Queen. You've made all sorts of buddies, right? Using our junk making skills, we modified everyone to work to to work together. I shall also help. Okay, whoa, we killed so many people. Chris! Susie! Behold! The ultimate group project! With a splendid base! And most of all, whatever it this thing is! Finally, we're the opponent. Round one. Fight. That is the Mortal Kombat sound. Okay, I'm fighting. I did a big punch in the face. Time for words is over. Now's the time to fight only. Okay, wow. Wow. I'm, I'm treating this fight like a slip and slide. Wow. Okay, let's try act on the Giga Queen. Uh, there is fire mode. Better dodge, heals 100p. I think we just want power attacks, right? Giga Queen. Boom! Oh, almost got the crit. So close. Oh, just kidding. I totally will keep monologuing as I kick at your face. Excuse me. Wild Pink. We are actually getting around this thing, by the way. I love how the base had nipples. Like the bird statue. Okay, punch. Boom. Oh, so close to the crit. The time has come for Noelle to realize her own strength, her own will, her own determination. This is an allegory for, like, depression or something. Or anxiety. I'm leaning into anxiety, actually. I'm leaning into anxiety. Oh, piss. We gotta punch these, don't we? Yeah, okay. Go on. Okay. Good. Let's hit her. Boom. The crit right to the face as well. She looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Which is pretty funny. Okay, round two. Fight. Mortal Kombat fight! Focusing into her blade, she will create a Neo Dark Fountain. Then another, then another. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to punch. Can we punch? Oh, we can actually fight her in her attack phase. That's so funny. Oh, double attack right there. Didn't see that one coming, to be quite honest. Oh, okay, got a one good wallop on her face. Then, when the whole world is covered in darkness, she and everyone can live in bliss free of fear if everyone is suffering. Queen is just moms in general, and Noelle has problems with her mom. I wouldn't know. I don't think I've ever seen her mother, but I know that her daddy is in hospital. Okay, good. Oh, piss. 
We want to dodge those, don't we? Okay. We definitely need to heal now. I think a, maybe a heart stone up would be a really good idea. Boom. Okay. We used the heart stone. It didn't do a lot. Prince Susie, why don't you help me too? Great in your world of your dreams. Also my dreams. What the hell? Oh, I see. So we're supposed to duck these. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I punched her in the I punched her in the coochie right after. Nice. Uh, so, we don't have enough toilet paper to act just yet, but we can give her a good walloping to the face right there. A free hit. Susie, bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. No! What? What is up with this massively fun and innovative gameplay? What is going on? <laughs> okay, we now have enough to, uh, fire mode. Play mode engaged, a power boosting aura fired up. Boom. Whoa, 473, that's pretty good. Uh, Chris, my dearest Trucy, you can have as many! Okay, I don't remember what you liked. I don't- oh, what's- we ducked into the wrong way. Good. Mm, gotta go that way. Uh, uh, duck! No! We died! Oh, that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. But we can do it fast. Yeah, her mom is the mayor and she's always busy, ignores what Noel really wants. Oh! Oh! Of course I'm gonna fight her again. Oh, that is actually very cool. I do like, I was always wondering who this person was supposed to represent this whole time, but it, that actually, that just blows open the only like loose thread that my, my theories have. All right, let's punch her. Boom, one good wallop, 399, that's insane. That words is over, the time to fight only. Okay, I did a dodge. We're gonna, oh, we didn't dodge it. We dodged that and then we punch her in the coochie again and we dodged this and we punch her in the cooch. Her mum drinks a lot. Her mum drinks a lot, it seems. All right, let's do another hit. Boom! Oh, it was a crit. 499, right to the sucker. Okay, good. She's gonna keep monologuing. A lecture, one might actually say. We'll dodge that and we'll slip. Okay, slip and punch. And slip and double punch. Nice! That's her first phase down. Easy clap. I shudder to think what her third phase is gonna be. All right. Uh, let's do an attack against the Giga Queen. A crit right to the face. Very cash money. The time has come for Noelle to realize her own strength. Her own will, her own determination. Okay, good. Right, I'm slipping and I'm doing like a counter attack. Piss. Okay. Should have dodged both of those. Didn't. That's fine. Boom! Got a crit right to the face again. Very cash money. Focusing into her plate, she will create a Neo Dark Fountain. Then another, then another. Ow. Sucker punch much. Okay, good. We dodged that. And we- Oh, piss! Straight into the line of fire. That was embarrassing. So we should probably actually heal, right? We should probably get, like, um... We don't have a lot of health. Like Candy, we actually do have a lot of health. We're gonna use this here, Candy. Done. Then, when the whole world is covered in darkness, she and everyone can live in bliss, free of fear and suffering. Okay, we took that one right to the face. We gotta, like... Okay, I walloped her in the coochie again. Uh, let's see what we've got to deal with here. We can self-fix, apparently, which heals 100 HP, costs a lot of toilet paper. Better dodge, I feel, is going to be pretty damn good, so let's just get that right out of the way. Chris Susie, why don't you help me too? Read the world of your dreams, and also my dreams. Oh, yes, I love this so much! I don't like that the mayor has access to thermobaric missiles, though. Ralsei advises you to dodge the encounter punch. Yeah, thanks, game. Thanks, Ralsei. Boom. Walloped! Okay, third phase, third phase, third phase, third phase. Do, do, do it. Everybody, third phase! Third phase coming! Third phase! Susie, bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. Uh, whoa, okay. I'm dodging. Okay, we gotta slip right as it's like ahead of us here, right? Good. Alright. We probably gotta punch her in the coochie as well, just one last time while she was uh, kind of taunting us a little bit. Let's fight! The Giga Queen. Boom! Crit! Nice, right to the face. And Chris, my dearest Trusty, you can also have as many. Okay, I don't remember what you like. Ah, oh, piss! Okay, we slipped that last one and we punched her in the coochie as a response. Ah, oh, piss! Good. A oh, piss. Took that one straight to the face as well. We need a lot of help all of a sudden. So, what have we got? We have a glow shard, no. Tension, no. Parts cookie, no. Ah, oh, we've only got the CD bagel. I think we use it. On ourselves. And then we just slip everything. Hey, was there a third guy? Uh, not in your world, is it not? Oh my god, no! Oh, this one's rough! This one is super rough! 
Okay, I think we just try and dump damage now, right? We just dump damage. Give a queen. Boom. Okay, we dump damage right into her face. Join me and all of you will become super strong and cool. Meanwhile, I don't need to improve because I'm already perfect and can shoot lasers from my fancy glass. You should use self-fix. <sighs> Maybe. Okay, we slip those. We punch her in the coach. And another one right there. Boom. Oh, piss. Okay, good. And another. Okay, wonderful. You might be right in that sense. We might want to use self-heal. She only has 21% HP, but I do think self-fix is going to be a really good idea. Let's try slip everything now, but the TP cost increased. Oh, dear. Okay, I believe I've made my point. I'm going to procedurally loop my dialogue now. Oh, that was nice of her to let us know that she's going to loop her dialogue. Boom. Two punches. Three punches right in the cooch. <laughs> that was a freebie, isn't it? Okay, uh, next we'll do a fright. Is she doing Zumba? I feel like she's doing Zumba with, like, a martini glass. Another good walloping to the face. The time for works is over. Now's the time to fight. Okay, good. Well, no chance for that one. Punch in the face right there. Good dodge right there. Oh, good. No! Good dodge. Yes! Excellent dodges. I don't know what I was doing, but it worked. Boom. Oh, almost a crit. Oh. Chris, Susie, other guy. You've truly proven yourselves to be a worthy opponent. You've earned the right to remember what your fighting machine's true purpose is. Get your own ass thrashed by me with my final attack. Ha ha bye. Uh, oh my god, this sucks. Oh, we've got iframes. We have iframes. Oh my god, we have iframes. Okay, we've got to hit this one, right? Boom. I punched it. I remember that mechanic. We just hugged a uh, baseball bat at Noelle's mother. Battle power dropping! Overheat! Activated! Listen well! You may have defeated me, but I still possess one thing you three will never have! Detachable hands! Were we supposed to counter that? I don't think we were. No, we weren't. Okay, good. Bad ending unlocked! Noel. Darling. Honey. Sweetie. Gravy. Take the pin I gave you and stab the earth, creating a new supreme empire. I. I. What's wrong, Noel? I know it would make you happy, but should I, with the last 1% of my battery, brush Susie into 8 bits? Leave. Leave Susie alone! You think listening to you makes me happy? No! I'll never be happy! Not if I'm controlled by you! Why can't you understand that? Noelle! Perhaps my computations were miscalibrated. Oh, her mother is a psychopath. Her mother is a psychopath. So she's like a cold calculating kind of piece of garbage that only values power and money in the world, right? And she's just like completely neglected her family. And now Noelle's dad is in the hospital, so she's got nobody else. Noelle, disregard me and with your own power, use the world that makes you happy. Queen? But Queen! Queen, are you okay? Seems she ran out of battery power. Guess we can seal the fountain now, right everybody? Everybody? I can't hear you, you don't exist. Queen, she said, choose the world that makes you happy. I don't want to live in a world ruled by her. But if that wasn't the case, I wonder if this world wouldn't be so bad. Huh? Susie, don't you think it... Don't you think so, too? I, uh... Now that you mention it... Chris, isn't this world just better? We make so many friends here, you know? I've never had an adventure like this before. With axes and battles and magic. Where everything can be healed with a little spell. And no matter what happens, no one tells us what to do. Gosh, yeah! So, so even if things were really scary just now... I mean...
I'll uh, piss off. <laughs> oh, he is from the overworld, isn't he? I guess. <laughs> Give me a sec. So, is there any reason not to? Not that I can think of. Me neither. Then, Noel, let this be my real apology! The Hell Bird, right? That's what it's called, the Hell Bird. Concentrating my will into this blade, I will make a new fountain and unleash a bright future! A future that shines for us! A future whose brightness is born from darkness! Stop! What in the world are you all doing? Well, we thought... Stop! I mean, stop! Do you realize what will happen if you do that? I will just... You'll bring the roaring! When the light is uh, subsumed by shadow. When the fountains fill the sky. All will fall into chaos. The titans will take form from the fountains. I thought it was going to rhyme for some reason. I don't know why I thought it was going to rhyme, but I, I thought that. And envelop the land in devastation. Got a moustache here in my mouth. The surviving darkness crushed by the darkness will slowly, one by one, turn into statues. As the memory fades, right? Leaving the lighteners to fend for themselves. Lost eternally in an endless night. Is that your idea of paradise? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> That's my response as well. Oh damn, I did not know that. <laughs> you didn't? But your whole plan was to... I'm just a computer, Lamar. I don't know everything. I was just guessing based off the knight's actions. Why the heck or hell would I want to end the world? Well, that's a relief. Ah! Uh, um! I'm sorry, I... I... After everything, I just caused trouble for you again, Noel. That's okay, Birdly. I understand. I thought about it while charging my battery. You cannot calculate other people's feelings. You! You understand how I feel? Not really, Lamau. I'm a psychopath. I just don't want Noel to be sad. Uh, well, I'm glad you two kind of get it now. Guess we all made a pretty sweet team in the end! No, we freaking didn't! You let go of us now! Oh yeah! Uh, Susie! Hey, you stood up to Queen! Not that bad. R really? Uh, yeah. Just, guess you gotta wake up soon, huh? Uh, huh? Everything got so intense, I forgot it was a dream. Then, I just hope... I hope I get to have more dreams like this. Hey, Noelle, when you wake up, um... Well, I just wanted to say, uh... Well then, I suppose it is time for you all to exit. Running program, tend to goodbye.exe. I will miss each of you. Noelle, your unneeded honesty. Susie, your foolish bravery. Chris, your chill vibes. <laughs> Burgly? It doesn't have to be goodbye, Queen. Chris can take you back to our castle town. You and all our recruits can live there. Oh. Okay, <laughs> deleting Tinder goodbye.exe. This is nice. This is nice. All right, time to do what we came here for. Hey, Noel. If you see the real Susie, just just know that maybe she's. Look, she doesn't have a tail, okay? Oh, okay, I got it. 
It's not a secret! Let's just go, Chris. Everyone's laughing at Susie's expense. I also noticed that Chris wasn't moving her legs, so uh, Susie was literally pushing us out of there, which is pretty funny as well. We don't know a lot about Noelle's mom, but yeah, she, she is like that after death. Noelle's sister disappeared. Oh, I didn't know that. I talk so much about the roaring that I'm sure it's going to be happening in the future. Chris. It's probably going to happen in like the last chapter. It looks like we're here again, huh? The roaring night. Whatever they are. They're making these fountains. But... Is that really a bad thing? Since they started showing up, everything's gotten a lot more interesting, hasn't it? Well, we don't have to think about that now. Chris, it's your turn. It was as if your very soul was glowing. I love that so much. I love the, the screaming guitars. Well, I now. God, that feels good. It feels so good. Oh, here we go. Uh, <gasps> what? What happened? <laughs> oh, it was a dream, wasn't it? <sighs> a dream? That was all a dream? Of, of course, that must have been a dream. Such uh, feelings, such thoughts. Oh, sweet lady of justice. To think I would ever think Susie would be. Susie! Su Susie? What are you doing here? Uh, you invited us to study, remember? Uh, oh, right, I, uh, I... What? Studying with them? Noelle, heavens and yikes, they're, they're... Well, I guess we could try it. Uh, 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 huh? My alarm! Uh, uh, I'm gonna be late for my shift with Miss Boom! Uh, oh no, I was at that late already. Uh, well, adieu everyone, I must gather my book longings. Uh, 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 huh? Huh? That's funny, my right arm won't move. Oh, he was lying on it. <laughs> oh, it must have fallen asleep. Here, I'll carry your books for you. Thirdly, Ah, uh, Noel, you're always helping me! Thank you! Good day, Chris! Susie! Bye, Chris! And, um, bye, Susie! Uh, see ya! What? What? Are you looking for something? N nothing! Bye! Wasn't very nice. Heck, it's her problem anyway. Way to treat someone who just saved the world. Chris! Hey, wait a second! Chris! We... We just actually saved the world, didn't we? Damn, we really are heroes! And no one even knows! Guess it's better that way, though, right? People would freak out if they knew the world's in danger. Though, kinda sucks Noel has to forget, too. Whatever. Let's get out of here. I don't think she forgot. I don't think she, for she forgot at all. Looks like the library is state-of-the-art public laptop. Someone left it on. Great. What about the scrunched up balls of paper? Nothing. Recycle bin? It's a recycling bin. I know. Looks like someone accidentally printed off a lot of useless emails. Okay. It's full of many backup devices like extra mice, extra keyboards, extra maracas. Uh, maracas? That's a musical instrument. I don't know why that would be the thing. So, here's what I'm saying, right? All of the materials for the adventure we just had is still again scattered around us, just like the ending of the first chapter. So we don't know if this actually happened. Gonna have a little bit of tea to, to slake my throat. What's this? Various posters talking about internet safety. There's also a... You suddenly thought about how your day might have been different. If the poster with that orange cat was still on the wall. There we go! That directly confirms it! This is all a product of the child's imagination. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. That's... okay. It's a computer! The monitor is flickering brightly. Is that all of them? It's a computer! The monitor is flickering brightly. What about this one? Oh, there's red things under here. It's a computer! The monitor is flickering brightly. Good to know. 
It's a trash can. You get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. It's hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. Yep, we came across that in the adventure too. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Oh, so we did take trinkets from the last place. So if we look at our items, right? Cards. This is where rules card is. Ball of junk. I think that that has something to do... Someone mentioned a ball of something, having something to do with Lancer. Glass, probably going to make an appearance on the next chapter, in the third chapter. The wine glass that um, was holding all of the a uh, acid, milk, or jizz. And let's be honest. So we didn't check our inventory at the end of the last one. What the hell is this guy up to? I love reading books. Especially the books upstairs. You are upstairs. It's a book. It's book one about souls. Read it. Sure. The soul has long been called many things. The font of our compassion, the source of our own will, the container of our life force. But even now, the true function of it is unknown. How to care for a human. It's a book for monsters on how to care for humans. Okay, we'll look in the back. According to the card on the back, looks like your mother took it out repeatedly many years ago. So that's not our mother, I can almost guarantee it, right? Look inside. There are photos of an unfamiliar humans inside. You shut the book quickly. Okay. So we're the only human here, aren't we? Any other books here? There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious! This must be what they meant by flavor text. Okay, so to explain dark worlds, they are fiction, but fiction come to life. Thanks to determination, everything is real, but it's like if you got trapped inside of a game. Yes, uh, that was actually a part of an earlier theory that I was working with, but I also feel like there's kind of like a bigger overarching story that transcends even the top world, the one that we're in here. The Dark World is very clearly a product of child's imagination. I don't think it ever actually happens. Top World seems like real life. And I think there's an element above it, right? Uh, involving Jevil and Spamton that kind of hints at there being something bigger above the game going on. And also Toby. Toby that is supposed to be like God. People pointed that out. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, the dog is God, necessarily. But I would definitely say that Spamton and Jevil having 3D environments in which they fight us in and engage with us in definitely indicates that they transcend the dark world itself and having self-awareness as to what they are also kind of suggests that it transcends this world here, which is a 2D game. That we, the player, are a canon um, protagonist in rather than Chris right here. Chris is, Chris is its own entity. We are the soul inside of Chris and we are third dimensional Chris is two-dimensional. I think that there is a story surrounding us uh, involving everybody. And Spamton really seemed to have a demon inside of him. Or an angel of some sort. Uh, there was a guy named Mike who was caught in there. Someone pointed out that it was uh, uh, like referencing an ad in 1997 for a drink called Big Shots where this guy named Michael would like try and sell you drinks. But I think that it's the Archangel Michael who was sent down to uh, Earth to kind of like enforce God's rule. <laughs> Man, it got late, didn't it? And Jevil was very clearly just a demon, right? A, a very cheeky demon. Both of them bartered our soul for freedom. Guess you should go home, huh? But that's the long and short of the theory that I've got right now. All right, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're going to make me, I guess. Let's go. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, we're not going home, by the way. We're actually going to go everywhere else first. What's in here? This is the school. Let's go into this room right here and see if we can't save. What's his face? This isn't the room we were in. Can we loot anything here? Uh, kids' books. Some of them used to be yours. Ah, okay. The throne of the gods grows higher. Is this hubris? Oh, there was the throne of the gods in the world that we're in as well. So that's probably got a reference to this chair right here. That is gas to stuff. I, I don't know anything about uh, Undertale. I haven't played it yet. I've basically just pulled all of this from subtext just by playing um, this game alone. I don't know what Gaster is. Um, Mrs. Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. So Toriel is our mother and also our te someone's teacher. The computer wallpaper is updated. It's a picture of your brother and you playing video games. Your brother is using the knockoff controller. Oh, that's good of him. That's real good of him. What a good brother. That's what I used to do for my sisters. So up here is where we had our first adventure. Right, we've taken all the crap off of the floor already. What's in here? Managed to cram everything into the closet, even the rug. Yep, we definitely did that, I suppose. Even if you played Undertale, you'll never find Gaster. 
I'll get deep into the lore after I come up with my own answers for it. That's how I play games. That, that's how I come up with all of these theories. I feel like I've absolutely nailed Deltarune. As fun as it is, I feel like I've absolutely nailed Deltarune's story right here. Oh. We can go back down to the other world. That's right. We can, can't we? What the hell is this? So, this is your castle town. It's magnificent. Population density is so wonderfully low. I bet the Swatchlings will love this. I will kill them. Where are the Swatchlings? Anyhow, I killed them. Or task manager, I killed him. Or even regular task, I killed him. <laughs> I killed them all. Hey, Chris, where is everyone else? I killed him. Don't worry, Queen, I'm here. Me and only me. <laughs> <laughs> Love it! Well, I guess I'll go to my room. <laughs> ah, yes, the shoe's on the other hand now, isn't it? She represents the parent and now she's gone to her bedroom. Alright, let's see how this place is updated. Chris, I bet you have a lot of people to talk to, but you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want, okay? That felt so good. Right, we have killed everyone. Apparently, this guy survived. Welcome home. Things have changed again here in Yinsen Town. Oh, it remembered my name! It remembered my name! That's cool! Okay, we're gonna do a touch right here. You thought about how you can't go back to the cyber world anymore. You considered this carefully. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't really... I did everything! We did everything in the cyber world! But uh, this run, right? We did everything! We killed Spamton, we got a bunch of secrets, we found a bunch of cool stuff. Hey, bye! Bye, Ralsei! So what the hell is in here? I don't know what's on the other side of these doors. We never find out. Unless it's like our class. No, our classroom's just over here, isn't it? Yeah, here it is. What the hell is this guy doing? Tim still study. Study hard. Tim get a smart, then go to college, retrieve dream. Then Tim become. Tim become. Haha. -ha. As if you could even envision it. Okay. Right. Can we break into people's lockers? The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. I wonder whose locker that is. The locker is locked. That sucks. Are you ready for the Sadie Hogman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. That is a good way of not getting students to touch each other. Like, that is exceptional. That is Parenting 101 right there. I would say that, that is probably the best parenting tip in the world. What's down? Town Hall. What the hell is this thing? Having a wide open space is great for us kids. Sometimes it's good to get your freak out. <laughs> we tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. Uh, yeah, probably not. So the town hall, this is where Mir is, right? This is where, uh, Noel's mother lives. Oh, there's that beer. That bull guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. Okay. Well, well, if it isn't the teens, our beloved rats of the city. You want to get into politics? Ha! Huh. You better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did. And look at me now. I don't even work here. Wow, that guy's an absolute piece of garbage. Is this a shovel knight thing? Nothing like admiring the great paint job me and my bro did on the church. What the hell is this? I'm not Jerry, I'm Terry. I'm super cool. I totally don't have to go into the bathroom. Okay. What is this way? I don't think we were allowed this way. Oh, this is the graveyard. So Noelle's gonna be here one day. This turtle man, Chris, welcome. Did you seek something from me? Uh, hammer. As per the ritual, a hammer is buried in the earth here. Symbolize his existence. To connect his spirit to the divine, originally a smith by trade, he began writing history and made a turn into telling stories as a means to entertain his children. That such a story, created for such simple purpose, could blossom into such a large, wonderful, world-changing thing. That is the majesty of words, Chris. My father was blessed to have such a talent for writing. My fa That's Toby, isn't it? He's referencing Toby! When you play Undertale, you should watch a video explaining every guest or easter eggs. So you can make your own theories about him. Nobody really knows what his intentions are. Well, I pulled literally the lore from just playing this game. So I think maybe just knowing Gaster exists would be enough to kind of insert him into a lot of the holes that I would find. Haven't found a single hole yet, though. I've been able to explain away everything we've found so far. Uh, this guy seems to have a lot of answers. Asriel. Ah, Chris, your brother. He was a very kind young man, perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess to various sins, despite the absence of sin or confession in our religion. 
I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted, admitted that he had dropped the lizard in the pit to jump high, nearly admitting the fact that he had done so in video games. He also confessed to various sins on your behalf, begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. I would always forgive him and send him home. This is the pastor. This is the guy who runs the church. Why is this important? He is the conduit for God. He is the conduit for God. So, that confirms that God is Toby, right? The God is his father because he's the father of the church. He talks to God. So, his father is Toby, the guy gifted with the writing who can craft worlds. Toby is God. Toby pulls the strings for Spamton, I believe now. I think that is a pin in that theory, right? I think th that is definitely a pin in that theory. We probably won't have to revisit that one for a while. Alright, uh, let's talk about Gerson. Who the hell is Gerson? It's been a few years since my father's passed on. Damn! Fans of his famous book series, Lord of the Hammer. We still received condolences from them until just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Toby, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher, and difficult for Miss Alfie's as his replacement. Let us pray that the angel will smile upon her. I don't know if that debunked what I just said or not. You heard Elvin mumbling to himself as he walked away. Were you proud of me, father? And is it right for this hammer to... Sorry, did you say something? What was that? Chris, welcome. Uh, yeah, I wanted to know what you just said. Okay, bye. Don't know who Gerson is. It may be kind of like a pseudonym. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. So, uh, this is your idea of hanging out, huh, Chris? Going to the graveyard? <laughs> Works for me, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay, we don't know who that is then. Don't know who that is at all. Good to know. Right, okay, so, we have uh, elucidated a lot from there. What the hell is down here? What the hell is down here? And Deltarune, the god, is the angel, and Elvin's dad- oh, okay, Elvin's dad is Gerson. He's a character in Undertale. Okay, good to know. What are we doing down here? This is an earth berm. I think it's true, you really think there's... What, you chicken? Uh, you got a beak and wings like a chicken? No, just... I ain't afraid, only kids believe that stuff. But Chris? You gonna be a weenie like Chris? You wanna say that again? Susie didn't see you there. Wow, really something scary in there, huh? Uh... Sounds to me like you better worry... ...about what's out here first! Ah! Huh? You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? So, I theorized that we were like the Antichrist, which is why all of these demonic entities, uh, Spamton and Jevil, uh, trying to barter our soul out of our bodies, or at least possess us in some way, right? I theorized that we were the Antichrist. That was a reach, but we do live with a family of goats who represent uh, demons quite frequently, and it feels like this is very demon-esque as well. They did just say that we were directly tied to this place. Well, you don't get to talk about it. Oh, my controller turned off. It's first. Let me plug that in. Uh, do we want to try go in here? I think that we won't be able to go in here until like the last chapter or something. It's locked. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right! That's creepy. So all the way south is just a disturbing mess of crap. All right. Can we go into all of these? Oh my god, we can. Let's read the hentai review. Chris, we could go anywhere. And you brought us to the teen zone. Why not? Okay, let's not read the hentai reviews. Uh, I want to go this way, see if that onion remembers what I said to him. What is this? School, not interested. Probably just went the wrong way. Let's go all the way left. Make sure that we are dotting our I's and crossing our T's. Hospital. So Noelle should be in here, right? If we go up and then to the left, back into the left. Here we go. Sliver Drake? I've never been in this bus before. All right, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad, this is my battle. So, um, how about just telling me what to do? Oh, sure, how about trying Fire Shock? I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh, yeah. How about one of your 99 Blaze potions? Um, I'm saving those. For what? Your birthday? Come on, live a little. 
Okay, Ted, this one's for you. Yeah! It reflects fire attacks. Ugh, whoops. Hey, you gotta heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. That I'd make you better, and it wouldn't just be me and mom. Your mother is... Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you sure you're okay? Holidays happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home sooner. Mom will call. I would really love to explain what the bunker is. Yeah, don't. Don't. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out for myself. Does he not? No, he does not. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Zuzi, why are you here? Hell if I know. <laughs> We're here because Chris is observant from the first chapter. Sorry, guys. This game's only one player. Um, Dad, this is, uh, Susie. Oh, this is Susie! Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? Cool, think I have to go now! Susie, huh? Yeah. Lay a finger on her and I'll kick your ass. <laughs> huh? Ah, just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. Okay, sorry for bringing you into that awkward encounter, Susie. <laughs> I did think that was going to be so awkward. Oh, that thing doesn't look well. Okay, I'm not even going to bother talk to it. Uh, let's go out. I'm only going to waste my time talking to the things that actually matter. Police station. Uh oh, Elfies. Hell if I'm going any further. Already close enough to getting banned from the school. They want to be banned from outside of school, too. That's a thing, right? It's not. No. Hello, Elfies. Hi, Chris. Getting your project done? <laughs> oh, my bike, it's, uh, totaled. I, um, I had a little crash. Uh, you see, there was this police officer and, uh, it's complicated. How are you doing? Uh, we can complain about the police. We can talk about school. We can get a list complaint about the police. Chris, it's no secret the uh, police in this town are... Uh, how do I put this? Just, um, eye candy, I guess. Well, wait, that came out wrong. I mean, they're symbolic. They really do anything. It's because of the mayor. They're, they're, there isn't any crime. Makes me wonder if she even needs the police. Or if they're just getting in her way. Uh, sorry, I'm just saying what you already know. After all, she's your neighbor, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Can I have this bike if you're not going to use it? It's a beaten bike. The horn looks like it might give a honk of despair. Can we honk it? No. That's sad. Okay. Can we actually go into the police station now or is she gonna close the blinds on us? Good. Can I have this key? Can I have this key? Hi, lady. Hey, get out of the road. Uh, sorry, bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? Yes, Dark Will. Huh? A super dangerous alternate world in the library? More are appearing. It might fall inside. Ah, listen, punk. Ah, you seriously think I'm gonna believe that? Ah. A dark world? Ah! Seriously? Ah! Ah! Ha 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 Hey, wait! Ah! Not again! Looks like I gotta go recapture those criminals. Okay, best of luck. Hey, by the way, that yellow glasses lady? Is she your teacher? She kinda had an accident earlier with her, uh, bite. Just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. I didn't know she was a she. So, uh, give her this. You got heart-shaped box of candies that says get well soon. It has to your bike hastily scrawled underneath the get well soon. Look, get well soon's all the store had. Open it and I'll arrest you. Look, I'll even put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me, I gotta go. You got the previously described box of candy with a note on it. Right. Well cared for flowers. What the hell is this? Oh, jailbreak. It'll sound the alarm. Is this a Pussycat doll song? I feel like this is a Pussycat doll song. I made the jailbreak my alarm my mixtape. It's a nice beat to study or relax you while you escape from prison. You skimmed a news article about Undyne. New Police Chief Undyne's explosive debut. Passionate young rookie becomes the new police chief. Although energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy. After Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force. Okay. There's no need to read any more. Asgore, that sounds familiar. 
Is that supposed to be our dad? Our daddy? All right, let's go. I think that's supposed to be our dad. Okay, we've cleared this area. Uh, there's Fred Bear's family diner. Nope, there's Fred Bear's family diner. What the hell are these guys doing? I just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. Reverse! This is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. Wow. Wow! Okay, big werewolf, double ice pizza, great. Ice wolf, big customer. Ice wolf, maybe only customer. What about this one? Little buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend, Asriel. You've got to tell Asriel right now. He's gonna be so proud of me. Yeah, Asgore is your dad. Yeah, I don't know if he's actually our biological dad. Because we are human, I still feel like there was some kind of immaculate conception. And there, I feel like Goat Mother is like 50-50, our actual biological mother. I don't think Dad is actually Dad. I don't think he had any hand in it, right? So either it's kind of like it was an immaculate conception, we are the Antichrist and all these demons are gunning for our soul, or that's not the case whatsoever. Oh, Delzaroon? Yeah, Pied of Paradise, welcome. We are just going through chapter two. We're actually just about to finish it, but I've condensed it down to like hour long videos, so those are gonna go up over the next week. Huh, what she look like? Uh, little buddy, how do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in the real life. But from the way she texts, God, little buddy, she must be stacked. Uh, we could stop the conversation or lie and say you want to hear more. I want to hear more. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it is uncouth, but look. Look at this, god damn! I am a child! It's several pixels that vaguely resemble a zoomed in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. A camera, it's not of the highest caliber. But to a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. What a pervert. They just found Chris, we don't know much more. Yeah, 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 no, uh, no, no, we don't know that uh, Chris is not adopted. We haven't actually found anything to suggest that in Deltarune, I don't know about Undertale, because they're separate universes, right? Toby Fox has uh, quite publicly said that Deltarune, Undertale, two completely separate games with just recurring elements. So uh, we, we actually don't know whether or not she's adopted. Crazy town to grow up in, actually. Yeah, I'll say. The pizza sauce is boiling red, babbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle. Ah! I, the warrior, shall show it the wizard's fist! <laughs> okay. Well, my co-worker seems so energetic lately. I don't know what's happened, but seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer. Would you like a blue soft serve? No. No, thank you. I do not want a blue soft serve, Sam I am. What's in the diner? Well, go in there if you want, but I'm staying here. Caddy's working there today. She hates me. So what if I took Jack by his hat once? I look cool! Duckington fans, they're crazy, man. I'm going in, I'm going in. Okay, where are they? There's this Jockington's fan right here. Woo, get it, you go, go! Show those customers who's boss, little lady. Kick their tush. Woo, beat them down, you got this. What the hell is going on? This one here? Just ignore them. I know, they're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Uh, your family's weird. I know. Wish they'd be normal. Or at least, more goth. But, uh, Noelle. Golden hair, starry eyes. She has the light, laughing in the night. Daughter, protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lately, she slips into the darkness. Chris, you walk among the dark. Protect her from Susie. I'm talking about Susie. Okay, I don't know if that's just bigoted and she's assuming that Susie's actually just like a piece of garbage, but she did just confirm that occult practices are a thing in this town. So, angels and demons, they exist. Well, they may not exist, but the people are at least practicing as if they do exist. And I think the bug has something to do with that. That is my friend and I support my friends through thick and thin, long and short. Cold and hot, whatever the shape, the world gets, I'll be there. Okay, I've seen enough. What's this way? This is the onion way, right? This is Sans Cafe. So the, I know that this is an Undertale thing. Sometimes the hoof girl comes in here, opens the freezer door, and stands in front of it, lost in thought. Maybe she really likes the cold, or waffles. Or maybe she's concerned about her dying father, you dick. 
Hey, forget something? Why well, are- yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory's not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> There's really an egg on my face now, is there not? Hey, your egg's sussed. Now it sounds as if you're egging me on. Egg on or egg off, I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional. <laughs> Oh my god. And don't forget me, your husband. Ex-husband. That's actually good. That's a good pun. That is a really good pun. I love that. Hope we play Undertale soon. Yeah, next weekend. Next weekend is coming. There are so many parallels with Deltarune, not only the characters. Yeah, that's what I found. That's what I've definitely found. I've had to research a lot about Toby Fox uh, to get my videos copyright lifted. I needed lots of evidence to say that he was just giving people permission to use his music. Uh, because the company who manages his music has copyright strike every person who uploads uh, Deltarune and Undertale gameplay, unfortunately, and you need to, like, contact them to release it. Goth girly with over affectionate mother fave throat. Okay. Uh, hello, Asgore. Sorry, I didn't expect to see you here, but I have some extra flowers, and I was wondering if... Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Ah, uh, haha. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. Home is where the heart is, huh? Oh no, so her voice was kind of more like, uh, like the, like, like the Queen's, right? Uh, so when Ezreal comes home... Yes, we should discuss that together soon. Donkey Donkey, say hi to Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. You know what I want, Bowman? Yup, three pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask, what kind of flowers do you think? Would make her remember how she felt before. Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. They're the first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know. Flowers. Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yeah, uh, I even I even keep them in glass. Uh, uh, like that movie. Yes, it's, it's very similar to that movie. Well, have a good one. Uh, I'm trying. Hey, Chris, uh, never mind. What the hell? Okay. I remember that. Tried to copyright the music from a fan game. Yeah, 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 I saw that as well. That was, uh, crazy. But now they're just copyright striking everyone. Like, everyone. And you have to cite Toby's permission to release the copyright strike. It's rough. It's so rough. There's been, like, entire channels that have been taken down because they use outro music from Undertale. And, uh, like, every single video just got striked and striked and striked. That's crazy how it's worked. Yeah, I'm sick of that looks at all the mills to find the best expiration date. You got something about it? That's weird and creepy. Hey, Sans. Hey, what's up? Uh, wanna buy some things. Hey, open to the convenience store. You wanna buy something? Put it in a basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Okay. Uh, you can't reach the top, rendering it impossible to get a basket. You'll never be able to buy something in this state. Okay, what's with the throne of gods? This is the throne of evils. That's funny. Hey, what's up? Uh, wanna see my brother? Sorry kid, the brother thing's gonna have to wait. How long? Maybe a day, maybe another two years. Who's keeping track at this point? Okay, anything else? Occupation. Hey, you're the boss around here. Me? I'm just the janitor. And where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. <laughs> then how do we buy stuff from? Me. And that makes you the cashier! Nope, I'm the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> then why don't you get someone else? Whoa, you think I could afford that on a janitor's salary? <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. I love that. Okay, what's in here? Can we go break into this house? Knock, knock, knock. Faintly, faintly, a trousel growing further away. Okay, someone's walking away from here. What about this apartment complex? Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where do skeletons come from? It's meiosis! Knock, knock, knock! Hmm, that knocking. It's amateur. You've still got a long way to go. Okay, fine. We'll learn how to knock properly. Knock, knock, knock! Yo, uh, Chris? Uh, is that you? Uh, we're not hanging out if Susie's with you. Oh. Chris, Susie sucks! Why don't you stop her? What a jackass! Oh, I don't want to be down here! I don't want to be down- Why am I going forward? Why am I engaging? What's in this bin? Um, hey, that's my trash from other people's houses. Like, privacy much? God, living with us, he made you weird. Snicker, snicker. Like, 
Little Chrissy, you hear that uh, guy at the pizza place? God, what was his name? Pizza Pants. Heard he got like a uh, super hot girlfriend. What was her name? Like, uh, uh, uh Pizza Rena? Uh, anyway, why did you like want to talk? I don't. Susie. Oh my God, it's like so sweet. You have a nasty little dirty friend. But like, this is my polluted alleyway. So like, I think I might have to go to the mayor and get a traffic sign. It says like, no plus ones, because, like, okay. What an absolute degenerate. I hope she dies in the gutter in a pile of her own vomit. While I don't wish that on many people in this actual universe, that is how I want her to go in. Jesus, this place is big. It's an all-night gate. It appears to be locked. That sucks. There's so many things need keys now. Can I go in here? There's a cat flap. It's locked. We actually were invited into the cat flap. But it seems that we can't go in. What's in there? Various cat-themed junk is piled up inside the house. There seems to be a bit of a cat sty. Wow. Barbecue? It's a broken grill! It smells like burnt cat food. Ugh. There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Who lives here? There's some kind of- okay. Good. Some kind of hissing noise coming from inside. That's an Undertale thing! I- no! No, Deltarune Ribbit, right? Somebody uh, recommended I play that? Ribbit Ribbit. I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie. Could it be a ghost? Nice. Got Peter Rabbit here. My brother is too old to take for a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm Abelis. I wish I had someone to whip me into shape. I could whip you. Knock, knock, knock! What? 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 If you're already looking for Blue Key, they aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else? Yes. Me? Me? What have I got to say to you? Nothing! I can't even recognize a pathetic face like that. By the way, say hi to your dad for me. <clears throat> wait, wait, don't do that. He doesn't know I... Nothing! Okay, we're gonna do someone else. Fine! Fine! Wanna talk to someone else? Here! Oh my, someone's here to see me. It's you again, is it, darling? It's the same person, right? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? Haha, <laughs> as if someone could be a fan of a nobody like me. Well, if you are a fan, huh? could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. If you have anything entertaining, darling, could you bring it by to me tomorrow? It would mean the world to me. Thank you. Okay. Her social skills, oh my god. Yeah, I know, they're rubbish, aren't they? I wanted to buy flowers, but the store's closed. The door around the back's unlocked, but I don't think I should go in. I'm gonna go in. I am a, um... I am a... I am a... Apparently a child of... Okay, can't go in. Let's go talk to the onion. Onion! Onion, onion! Hey, thought I told you to come alone. You know what? Hell if I'm getting involved with this. <laughs> hey, Hyper Potato Mouse. I, mi I missed you, you hear? I missed you all day. Did you miss me? No. <laughs> hey, Chris, so, uh... Do you do weird stuff like this every day after school? Yeah. Yeah, it's my routine. What? You can't, you can't shame me for my routine, my after school routine. Talk to the floating onion, go to the graveyard, harass Noel's father in hospital, which he probably appreciates. Right, this is home, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, do you wanna, uh, it's your mom's van. Okay. Chris, you going home? Yeah. Come on in. All right. Come in. Then, guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Come on! Chris, I was studying with your... Wait, Chris, is that your friend? Why do you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, uh... Chris, I should, um, probably get going and, uh... I was going to bake a pie! Did you want any? Guess I can come over for a bit. But you can't have any! The pie is mine! It's my pie! Redbrox, hey! Welcome to the stream! It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Feel free to come in. You've actually caught it at a weird time. We've just finished Delta Room Chapter 2. Oh, excuse me, I am Chris's mother, Toriel. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I remember. Oh, you do? And you are Susie, are you not? <laughs> huh? You, um, remember my name too? Of course, Miss Selfis is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Um, let's hear it. Chris, the hell is Elphys saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? I don't want to. 
Then we can take the pie together. No, I don't want that either. Make it together. Uh, but I don't know how to, uh... Do not worry, I can teach you. Okay. Oh, she obviously doesn't have, like, a mother right. Susie does not have a mother, I bet. Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I'm very happy you are friends with her, but... Chris, I heard from Elphys about her behavior. If by any chance she, uh, influences you, uh... Leave the chalk alone, all right? I did just murder two worlds full of people, mother. You'd be happy to hear. Hands are washed. Wonderful. Now we can... Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake it? Chris, you know how to make pie? Of course I do. The hell haven't you made me anything, dumbass? You pie hoarding piece of... I mean, uh... Excuse me, ma'am. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay. Sweet. Oh, well, Chris, you need to wash your hands too? Then I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will? Hey! Okay, it's the TV. Looks like it's plugged in, but if this is because we don't use it. All right, you guys have fun. I'm going to go flush the toilet a hundred times. All right, yes. No need for it. No need for it. What the hell? <laughs> Toby Fox, you bastard. It's the bathroom sink. Will you run the tap? Yes, I'll run the tap. It started to run. It's making a lot of noise. Is it? I suppose it is, actually. It is quite loud. Imagine beating someone in front of their mother. Oh, no. Oh, this happened last time! We got all possessed and stuff! That's creepy! It is creepy, isn't it? Well, let us get the flower. So that's this bag and you just... Oops. <laughs> Susie, you have flour on your nose. Ah, uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower, huh? Yeah! Acho! Acho! Come on! Oh, on to the next part. So, where the uh, he he heck is Chris? Oh, Chris uh, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry. I'm getting sleepy. You know what they call a sleepy Susie? Huh? What? They would call her Snoozy. Ah, uh, that's bad. Then, then I guess you'd be a uh, Snoriel. That's good. That's good. That's witty. <laughs> And Snorio. Ah, uh, <laughs> you really like that one, huh? <laughs> Wasn't it funny? <laughs> All right, where the hell is Chris? Snorriel? The pie is nearly done. Oh, the sugar. Wait here a moment. I left it in the car. Okay. Oh my god, they're so cute. Yeah, they're cute. They're cute. They're, they're, here's the thing, right? I'm starting to feel. Like, Chris doesn't belong in this world whatsoever because she is a human. She turned into Madame Sinclair. She did for a split moment. Chris had an open heart surgery there. Yes. That also happened. Oh my god, I have so many words to say about this. I feel like they're smelling flour in the kitchen. Yeah, they are smelling flour in the kitchen. So here's the thing. Chris comes off to me as kind of like she doesn't belong in this entire world. And she doesn't say anything. So she 
obviously feels that herself as well, as, as separate from us as the protagonist, the player as the protagonist. Her and her soul, completely different. Whatever she's doing when she gets rid of her soul, we have no idea. I think it's got to be demonic or it transcends the game itself. I think that because she is a human, that she is more supposed to be kind of like the daughter of the developer, the creator of the game. Because Jibble and Spamton, so far, have had very, very weird kind of fourth wall, almost breaking zones, and they seem to relate better to Chris than the rest of the game does, don't they? I feel. So, isn't that strange? Okay, we're back to it. Hey, Chris, hurry up next time. We're already almost done. So what's next? Oh, uh, the pie. We already worked quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Uh, okay. Then, uh, guess I'll walk home. Oh, no, no, there's no need to do that. Oh, actually, Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, uh, it's okay, then... Here, look at this! The couch. My couch is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect. Because <laughs> Dan slept on it. Ah, oh, divorce jokes. It's not perfect, but we could all sleep out here. That sounds good to me, yeah. Splendid. That will make sure everything is in order. Also, share with the four-hour uploads. Jeez, I haven't watched them all yet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking them down. I'm breaking them down now. I'm breaking them down to, like, hour-long chunks. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of, of course. Who the hell is she gonna call, right? So what the hell, a sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. Huh. My couch. I pissed on it, it's my couch. Hey, Chris, it's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. So now what? I got it. Maybe between the pillows here? There! Now I'd find the remote in there! You can always find good stuff wedged in the couch. Jeez, it's dusty. When did you last use this uh, thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. What are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crushers 3? Hellbusters? Invasion of the Cat Petters? Or the Weaver? Uh, maybe ICE, the movie, is more your speed, huh, Chris? Uh. <laughs> it's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Relsi, Lancer, I don't know if any of them exist necessarily. Everyone, it's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, do you think we should uh, try to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Relsi could do our homework. Lancer could live under your bed. We could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. It seems a little far-fetched because I don't think they exist. Is there blood under the TV? Uh, no, I think that's a placemat so that, you, you know how you get like a hot cup of tea and you stick it on a, on a wooden surface in rings form? Well, that happens with TVs in this universe right here. Seems a little far-fetched. What? Come on, it'd be easy. Relsi looks like your mom, right? And uh, your brother looks identical to how I remember my brother. Just say he's a long lost cousin. Yeah, getting closer. It'll be easy. Lancer can even make him a fake mustache. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. Cooking cat. Cooking cat right there. So the festival is coming up, right? That thing where the town becomes a carnival? Stupid, right? I don't think it's stupid. But say you had to uh, take someone. Noelle or Relsi. Well, I can't take Relsi. Uh, Noelle needs it. Noelle really needs it, doesn't she? Have I played Omori before? Because this might be an Omori type situation. I have not. I have been recommended to it after I played Deltarune chapter one though. So it's, it's on the list. Uh, it'll take a long time for me to get to it though. The list is big. Uh, we could say you, but we have kind of already shipped Noelle and Susie, so I think we just kind of like push the Noelle and Susie thing together. Let's take Noelle. Susie will want to come with us anyway, right? 
and Noelle needs it more. What? Why are you saying it so confused? It's not like I meant anything weird. You know what? Forget it. Look, let's just go back to watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. A giant monster movie special. I always like them better than the giant human movies. <laughs> now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of building bashing car crunching action. Cause we are locked in, got it? I better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> now let me just get comfortable here and uh... There. Susie fell asleep. I hope that's her snoring and not the uh, breathing of the damned. Feels like the breathing of the damned. Oh no, we're gonna do our thing with our soul again. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I feel like everybody uses the word human as if it's some kind of demon. So we could also be a demon. Officer? Officer? Who the hell is that? Thank goodness, I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. But when I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. That was us! Officer, if you could please come over. You will? Soon? Thank you. Okay, she's much shorter than I remember. We're already asleep. Mmm. Mmm. Chris, you little vandal. It was definitely Chris, right? Guarantee it was Chris. She tossed her soul out of her body. She went and did a crime. Or oh, she played with a knife. She played with a knife. She played with a knife. Because that's what happened in the first chapter as well. Is it happening again? Now, what I don't know is whether or not this is like a, a supposed to be possession. Or if we're kind of like, we've got split personality disorder. Something like that, right? Or bipolar? Nah, definitely split personality. Alright, where are we going? We turn the TV on. Lost in the static. It's not like sleepwalking. No, because we did it in the bathroom. We weren't sleeping then. Alright, here we go. Here's that knife again. Did she light a fire? She didn't light a fire inside, did she? I've heard you can move the heart when they rip it out. I'm not sure that's the case. I haven't tried though. We'll try it when we go and do the pacifism run in the uh, next playthrough. Okay, TV's smiling. Something is smiling. I think that's going to be the next chapter. I think that's what's called in the game foreshadowing, as opposed to three shadowing, which is way too short. Chris just opened a dark fountain. Yeah, I thought so. But is it like, is it is it a physical dark fountain, or is it kind of like... Does, some, does something dark with Chris happen every day, and then the following day, we're kind of delving into our own psyche with our friends as companions, to kind of like try and staunch the wound, so to speak. Like there's some emotional trauma or even maybe physical trauma, it is a knife. I think the knife kind of represents maybe some emotional trauma though. I think there's emotional trauma that Chris then deals with the next day and that kind of gives her a nice fulfilled soul, right? Is that TV man from the hip show Skibbity Toilet? Oh my God, okay. That was really good. That was such a good game. Oh my God. First chapter slack. First chapter was really, really good. I doubt many people are going to watch it because I uploaded a, like, five and a half hour video. This one, awesome. And it's going to be a one hour chunks. I loved every second of this. What are we doing? Are we, is this a save? Are we picking the... No, we're back. Oh my god. That was so cool! Oh no, we don't, we don't want to do all this again, do we? 
Oh my god, that was so good! Oh, I loved it! I actually loved it! I actually loved it. I, I can't say just how fun these games are. That they're, they're one of the most innovative games I have played in two decades by a long shot. Right? By a long shot. By a, by such a long shot. There are extra lore things outside of the game, like the Spamton sweepstakes. Oh, that's kind of cool. I imagine there's going to be, like, game files in there as well for Chapter 2. Which kind of explains the digital zone. You should check that someday. I will. That sounds like an ARG that I'll definitely delve into. I'll play Undertale first, so that I can kind of, like, see for myself what the differences between the two games are. Because there are differences. There are, th uh, uh, Toby Fox has said there are differences between the two games. They do not bang together in perfect harmony. They're different universes. They just have recurring themes and characters. So, I'd be interested to see what the differences are. But, Deltarune, so far, I'm starting to lean into the overarching theory that Dark World or Underworld is kind of like... It's, it's, it's kind of like a... Um, an imagination land. It's 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 only there because the people who are present in that moment are acting it out and we're watching it through the perspective of the imagination. In the top world, I feel like Chris is very, very out of place. Like, uh, not just sus out of place, but like massively, hey, worlds colliding out of place. And above that, above the game world that we find, that Jevil and Spamton seem to be very aware of. It seems to be some kind of battle between gods and demons. That we, we just don't have evidence enough to kind of lean into, do we? We, we only really have what we immediately see. And so far, the, the, from the whole chapter, I had did a game theory while I was playing that. The whole thing, if nothing else, has just been confirmed. I'm not sure Relsi exists. I'm sure Relsi is a projection of our imagination of the brother that we had who left for college. We don't even know how long ago that was. So maybe Relsi is just kind of like the brother that we grew up with, right? At the edge of the shadow where reality and dream meet. That's, that's not evidence. Come off, man. That's a nothing burger. That is literally poetry. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah, it's it's important to know the, the mind frame of the developer. But at the same time, <laughs> there's nothing you can elucidate from that quote. But the experience that you have here, Undertale and... Uh, well, I imagine Undertale. I haven't played it yet. But I, it, Undertale is definitely going to be the same. And Deltarune, they are made by a developer with a broad vision. And when developers make games, especially really small studios or solo developers, even more so... They hyper-focus on every single tiny little detail that they stick into their games. Let me blow myself up real quick. That they stick into their games. So every single thing that you see has an immense amount of meaning associated with it, which is how I was able to uh, basically break open the lore of the game just by playing it once. Um, pretty, pretty amicably as well. I've had a couple of people come and chat and say, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much the general consensus. Uh... But again, I'm not looking at wikis. I'm, I'm not doing that kind of stuff. I'm just uh, breaking open what I know about the game from having played it. And also what I have to know about Toby Fox to get my um, my, my videos published on YouTube. Uh, because copyright strikes are a huge bugaboo. So, we've got our theories. I've got my theories. I don't know if they're separate from anyone else. I know Axelino16 hates my theory that Relsi doesn't even exist anywhere. I've still got the theory that we are picking up these trinkets from these uh, kind of play dates that we have with uh, Susie and the other kids. And those trinkets influence whether or not we will be able to take the characters into the recurring chapters. Deltarune started as a dream Toby had. Deltarune is all about bringing fiction to life. He had planned Deltarune even before Undertale. That is another thing that I confirmed with the pastor who was um, standing at the grave. That guy with the hammer, right? I assumed that he was talking about his father... Uh, being a great writer, I assumed that that was actually supposed to be Toby and one of his, um, under, one of Toby's underlings who was also working on the game. Probably put that in there as kind of like a, a little nod to Toby saying, hey, uh, yeah, you are actually a genius. <laughs> it's, there's no ifs or buts about it. All about bringing fiction to life. Yes, uh, what I think that is supposed to, uh, kind of refer to is the imagination, the power of imagination and the minimalism of memory. Because we saw in the second chapter, Lancer turned to stone. I think that is the memory of that character from the last time we, we played with that theory in Imag Imagination Land degrading. 
Right, we didn't necessarily know everything about Lancer again. Like, we, we invented him as a character in the moment, but the moment passed. And I think that's really, it really ties into every other single tiny little element in this game that uh, Toby keeps putting in, where nothing's permanent. Like the machine? You should listen to Long Elevator, best Undertale song by far. I might do. I might do indeed. I'm probably going to put this entire uh, playlist on my um, kind of like gamer vibe Spotify playlist because it is a really good soundtrack. Holy crap, it's good. But yeah, you fire up Deltarune, you create a character. It's not used again so far. I think it will pop up in a future chapter, but it's not used again so far. So that just goes to show, hey, everything is temporary. And I don't think the chapters are any exception. And the giant, the war machine as well, that Relsi and uh, Lancer uh, have us build to kick our own asses. I think that that is also another little thing saying, hey, it's not permanent. And obviously rules card brought it back. Because uh, we also had rules, the rules card from the deck in our pocket when we left uh, Imagination Land as well. So all of this kind of ties into it just being a, an experience of an insight of the mind of uh, just a busy, busy mind, right? You are so close and so far at the same time with your theories. Still not going to say anything, of course. I love theories from new fans. I want to see your live reaction to it. What, to a song? What? I'm not going to actively copyright strike my channel with that kind of stuff. Come on, man. <laughs> what are you doing? You have to individually dispute every single song that gets struck, by the way. So I'm not going to just add stuff to that. I don't know... Look, I know a lot of people have said, hey, the general consensus is that uh, these fountains are real, the Darkland is real. I'm not seeing a single shred of evidence that supports this. So far, all I'm seeing is Lancer was an imaginary friend made up by Susie because Susie didn't have any friends. We probably didn't really have any friends either because we're so isolated by just being a human while everyone around us is kind of like um, anthropomorphized monsters of some sort and animals. Um, we probably made up Relsi because of our brother that left to college, who, Relsi also looks exactly like the child of our goat mother who left to college. So it just, it just makes sense. It just makes sense to, through no small leaps of imagination that it could be the case. That most of this is just like childhood pro projection. The second chapter also had themes of childhood projection. Uh, the whole thing was all about Noelle kind of overcoming not only, uh, someone told me that the Queen only represented her mother. I don't think that was the only thing that Noelle was overcoming. I think Noelle was also overcoming the anxiety of her father's recent turn in health and inevitable passing. And at the same time, I also strongly believe that Noelle is experiencing uh, childhood responsibilities. Right? She's got to. She's got a neglectful mother. She has a father who can't be around anymore. It, it just makes sense. So everything that I've seen so far, and I'm not going to consider Undertale lore in this game whatsoever because they are separate entities. But in, in terms of lore crafting, what we've seen so far, the evidence that we've seen has done nothing but bolster everything that I've said in the first chapter and second chapter so far. Third chapter might confirm whether or not the Dark World is actually a thing. I don't think it ever will. I think there's going to be eight chapters. I don't think a single one of those chapters is really going to say, hey, the Dark World actually is... It exists. I don't think that's, uh, that's ever going to happen. But it'll be years before we can really confirm that for ourselves, maybe even a decade, as I mentioned earlier. So, this has been probably one of the most Law Hunter stimulating games that I have played, which is interesting because in this year alone, I have solved alone an entire RP ARG in the game Beasts of Burden, and I've broken open so many other games. That's Not My Neighbor was also a really big one that I, I busted open with one go as well. But this one here is such a huge amount of satisfaction to breaking it open. It, it just, it's, you get an egg, you get an egg, you tap it with the spoon, you break it open, and butterflies have flown out of this one. I am so happy with Deltarune. This game slaps. And it's fun. It's really fun to do as well. Uh, That's Not My Neighbor obviously got a bit stale after you kind of know exactly what to look for. But this one here... This one is hectic at all times! And just when you think you've gotten good at a mechanic, there's another one! That somehow seamlessly blends into the game as well. It's absolutely insane just how genius this entire game is. I've made games in my time 
Most of them not published. Most of the ones that were published were mods for No More Room in Hell. But at the same time, with my experience, looking at this game, this is, by definition, a labor of love. So, that's going to be my, my main takeaway from it. Law in one hand, I'm going to hold it in this one hand as my law, and if it gets confirmed later, then I'll do a victory lap, wonderful. If it gets debunked, I'm not going to feel too bad about it, because I'm just going off with the evidence that I've seen. But on the other hand, this game is going to hold a special part in my heart. Just wait until you fall into the Gaster rabbit hole. Uh, I'm not going to look up Gaster until... Until I play the fourth chapter. I want a real good feel for this game. Until I start looking up Gaster, because I've seen the name floating around and a lot of people are saying, hey, it's not actually in any of the games. It's more part of this ARG uh, overhanging, looming thing in the background that Toby Fox is working on. What am I going to play next? This was it. I have played this for... Oh, the, the stream won't even tell me anymore. It's, it's been so long. It won't tell me how long I've been live for, but this was today's game. And I am so glad I gave it the recognition that it deserves. I gave it a week. I waited for my voice to heal so that I could do the voice acting and really just put the polishing touches on the things in this game that it does not have. Like, you know, comic relief. It, it, it does have comic relief, actually, I should say. But I am a funny guy. I'm quite aware of this. Voice acting as well doesn't have any of that. It's got little dudes here and there of like, kind of like, this is what they're supposed to sound like. So then again, like, they use your own imagination to create the voices. It's genius. It's literally genius. I've actually have a whole document about predicting the, the chapters three to seven so long. I've been writing that for weeks. That's insane. That is insane. Uh, if you stick it on the internet, you'll get massive views. Like in a, in a video format, but you will have to learn how to edit videos and uh, engineer sound and also probably have to be comfortable in front of a camera too. I don't know if uh, Hypercake, you are comfortable in front of a camera. But it is a, um, a step that is best taken early. Gotta be said. I wish I was YouTubing a decade ago, because I've been editing videos since I was like maybe 14 years old. And even before then, I was making pivot stick figure animations at the, at the length of physical movies. Just because I was bored. Just because I had nothing to do and I like, I like multimedia. So, I've said everything that needs to be said. I know that there is like this big ARG rabbit hole with Gaster, and I know that Toby Fox himself keeps dropping a bunch of like, really cryptic hints. I can't use cryptic. I can't use cryptic. I um, only use the evidence that I find, right? That's, that's how I come to the conclusions that I have. And it's really easy to see how I come to the conclusions that I'm at. So I, with all respect to everyone watching this, I don't think I'm far off from just nailing the story. I feel like that's got to be what Toby is thinking, right? At, at like the, the top level, like Toby, game, under, uh, underworld itself, the, the, the game itself, the light world, and then there's the development side. I feel like I'm, I'm peeking into the development side a little bit with how much I've, I've kind of been looking into this, which is just insane. It's, no game has captivated me this much since I discovered Dying Light. And even then, that wasn't like a huge rabbit hole. That was just, I binged a thousand or so hours of it. I really want to make that video because there are so many videos already about that, but I'm from Spanish community and there, there is almost no videos predicting the whole game. That's a good idea. That is a, a really good idea, actually. Um, or, here's the thing, right? You could also make the video in your own language and then insert your own closed captions. If you've already scripted the entire thing, it would not actually be that hard to upload a custom closed captions file so that your video has subtitles, which I would probably watch because I like learning languages. Uh, mon français est affreux. <laughs> um, uh, meine Deutsch ist scheiße. Uh, <laughs> a lot of them, really. I know a smattering of Latin as well. Can't speak it. I can interpret it pretty well. But yeah, um, definitely do. Do get into it. There's, there's no better time to start making videos than literally the second you can make a video. That is a good idea. Definitely do it. Definitely do it. You'll find a very, very wide audience. Also, I, I give like every now and then creator tips all throughout my content. So uh, create. People come to my channel to be smarter, right? I My channel attracts smarter people or people who want to be smarter. So if you fall into that category, you, you definitely, definitely, it, it's worth chasing it. It's worth chasing it. Because the only thing smart people lack these days is motivation. If you have the motivation to create something, a piece of art, for everybody else around you to enjoy, then by all means, put yourself into that piece of art. And the worst
worst that happens is people don't like it, right? Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty likable guy, I like to feel. I challenge people and I can be a jackass sometimes, but I like to think that like one in six people that I will come across will like me. And, and quite frankly, that is probably a really, really high number, retrospectively. If I was less of a callous dick to people, then that number would probably be close to one and two. Just make things, just make things. You'll find who likes you very, very quickly. And when you see a dislike on your video, it doesn't mean somebody hates your channel. It means that somebody has seen the content um, that you're putting out and they just don't want to see more of that on their feed, which is fair enough. I have had videos that have been massively ratioed, like six dislikes with like an average viewing time of three seconds. <laughs> so uh, it happens. You will find people who don't like your channel, but when someone does like your channel, they'll subscribe and then they'll keep on coming back. Okay, well, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got for today. I feel like, I feel like I've really made a dent in the content that I actually, that I really am proud of making for this game. So, I'm gonna end the recording. I'm gonna thank everybody so much for watching. I'll hang out for a few more minutes and then I'll gap it. Cause uh, it's, it's getting late here. So, Thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here you're going to find the playlist for Deltarune and right up here you're going to find another playlist that I think you would really, really enjoy. Down in the description of this video as well as a bunch of comments disagreeing with uh, my interpretation of the law, you're going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk with me and my community at your leisure. And until I make the next video, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!